Salut Yetan et bienvenue au Corpor aujourd'hui. Allons mes petits, today we're moving on to how to order a room in a hotel. So last lesson we looked at hotel opinions, we looked at the reading and listening exam and we developed skills there. But this, this is one of my favourite bits of the new GCC. The new GCC has the role play element in the speaking exam that you guys are going to do. And this is one of the potential role plays ordering a room in a hotel, which is great because that is what it's all about and this is why we study French this is this is this is why you do this in schools it's not just about your exam results and getting good results it's about actually having French as part of your skill set so you've got a skill for the rest of your life so after today's lesson you'll be able to go to France you'll be able to go to the reception of a hotel and you'll be able to order a hotel room and go through all the language you need to do that now when I went to live in France I didn't I needed somewhere more long term but I had to start by staying in a hotel and that's exactly what I did I went to a cheap hotel I didn't speak any English and I had to get a hotel room and I was like this is just like my GCC and this is what you'll be able to do so guys today that's what it's all about you're ordering a room in a hotel there's loads of advantages to doing this in French you'll get a cheaper rate the rates of a room in a hotel right they're dependent on on who you talk to and what you do and even like what websites you go through if you can speak French and do it I guarantee you'll get a better room a cheaper room this is worth it so guys that's what we're going to do today by the end of today's lesson you'll be able to order a room in a hotel let's get started like we always do Allô mes petits, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire, s'il vous plaît, copiez les dates dans vos cahiers, copiez le titre du genre qui dit « Avez-vous une chambre de livre ?»« Do you have a spare room ?» Et pour le contrôle de post-it aujourd'hui, we're going to look at questions and answers today, because that's the exchange you'll have when you're getting a hotel room. Et donc, j'ai so choisi six mots de question, une phrase de question importante. Qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais? Il faut traduire 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, si tu peux. Donc, s'il vous plaît, mettez-moi ce pause. And when you're ready for the answers and you've got the date and title in your book, recommencez la vidéo and I'll tell you a bit more about the lesson and we'll go through these uh, key question words. On y va! Put me on pause. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, if you listen to me now, you've sorted yourself out. You've got the date and title in your book and you've done a uh, control de post-it as best you can. How many of these do you get? You should be getting all six of these. If you haven't got one, you'll kick yourself when I show you. We've seen them all before. Alors, let me just tell you about the, uh, the lesson today. It's all about questions and answers. We're going to look at like the role play for, for GCSE and it all hinges on the questions and the answers. Do you know, do your speaking exam is 100% in French. Everything is to you in French, including the role play and all the things you need to know. So understanding the questions is absolutely crucial to getting the marks. So we're going to have a little revision of questions today and then we're going to look at the vocabulary that you'll need to order a hotel room in France. So by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to do it to see if you can do it. Obviously, we can't play Manhunt with you all at home, um, but we'll do a version of Manhunt where you'll have to work out who's being described from the type of hotel room they want. Donc, ça, c'est tu pour aujourd'hui. Let's start with our contrôle de post-it. So, avez-vous means do you have. So you can say, do you have a spare room, which is our title. Avez-vous une chambre de livre or do you have a double room? Do you have a room with a view? You will need avez-vous. Numéro 2, quelle sorte veut dire what type or what, what sort. So they might say, quelle sorte de chambre de vue? What type of room do you want? You have to say like a double, single beds with a bathroom, whatever. Numéro 3, combien de? So that word combien is crucial. If you combine something, you put it together. And that's how I remember combien. It means how many or how much. So how many beds, how many rooms do you want? You will hear combien de when you go to France. Guaranteed. Alors, numéro 4, vous voulez is the same as voulez-vous. It means do you want. Ça coûte is that costs. And then y a-t-il looks mad. But it's just il, i, a inverted to make it into a question. So il y a is there is. So y a-t-il is is there so is there a swimming pool is there internet is there a restaurant yeah till so it's ilia uh, inverted where the hell does that t come from sir it's just to stop the two vowels touching so you, you can't say yeah because it's too hard to say so they put a t in between yeah t just for pronunciation right guys hopefully you got all of these let's see what you know that first activity on you up et voilà, donc aujourd'hui, le vocabulaire 
Et les mots de question sont essentiels. Et c'est ce qu'on a ici, donc, dans la boîte bleue, où je dis, vous avez les phrases clés en français, mais évidemment, elles ne sont pas complètes. Il faut compléter les phrases, puis, après avoir complété la phrase, il faut trouver la paire en anglais ici. C'est compliqué, hein? Donc, what I do is you might look at the English first. And then look at the French and see what you can link up and then complete it. It's going to be tough though. Alors donc, vous avez deux minutes pour faire ça. Je veux six après les deux minutes. Six, c'est le cible aujourd'hui. Et vous avez une défi additionnel ici. En utilisant le vocabulaire ici, il faut traduire la phrase. Alors, deux minutes. Put a timer on your phone for two minutes, guys. When you think you're done, you've got all you can. Six to the target. Recommencez les vidéos et je ferai les réponses. Bon courage, toi, de 1. Première pause, on y va. Et voilà, mes petits. If you listen to me now, you've had a go at this activity. You've got over six, hopefully, j'espère. And you're ready for our answers. Let's go through them. Alors, le premier, je voudrais rester pas. I'd like to stay for Ash. This is what you'll say. Like when, when you go into a hotel, they're going to ask you how many nights is it for. Numéro deux, est-ce est qu'il y a, which means is there. You literally say in French, I've always loved this, you say, is it that there is? Est-ce que, is this that there is? So you could say that in a hotel if you want to know if there's a swimming pool or if there's a Wi-Fi or the code for it or anything like that. Est-ce qu'il y a is an absolutely crucial phrase for your French. Learn it. Make sure you know it. Such an important question. Numéro toi, je veux une chambre par. I want a room for. Remember, this comes from vouloir, a jingle bells verb. And it's our verb to want. That should be chambre. Should be R-E. That's my auto correct, yeah? Obviously, I don't make mistakes. Too clever. That should be R-E. Une chambre pas. So, um, you'll need this. You can also mix it up. You could say, je voudrais une chambre. Je veux une chambre. J'ai envie d'une chambre. Any of those would work. Numéro 4. J'ai l'intention de means I intend to stay. I intend to stay for three nights or something like that. This is a key future tense phrase for you to know. Numéro 5. Peux je payer avec? Qui veut dire c? Can I pay with? So you might say can I pay with card? Can I pay with cash? This is a key phrase. We just sang vouloir to want. The other one is pouvoir to be able to. You need to know these verbs. We've looked at them before. We've sang them stupidly. Here they are again. They're such key verbs for everything you do in French. You've got to know them. Numéro 6. C'est inclus. Which means, is it included? J. And you can ask that about breakfast or anything like that. Le petit déjeuner. C'est inclus. Is breakfast included? This is a key phrase you'll have to use when you're in the hotel en France. Alors, numéro 7, combien de nuits? This is what they're going to ask you back, literally. How many of nights? How many nights are you going to stay? Numéro 8, c'est une autre question. Vous voulez payer comment? How would you like to pay? You'll hear this all the time in France, particularly for hotels, because you can pay by, like, card, check. Like, if you're a business, they can factor you. So, all of these things you need, vous voulez payer comment, is a key term. Alors, numéro 9, c'est facile, hein? C'est à quelle heure? So, what time is? You'll need this in the hotel. You might need to know what time breakfast is served till because you want a lion. Or what time checkout is? C'est à quelle heure le checkout? C'est à quelle heure le petit déjeuner? This is what you need to know. And finally, you hear this all the time in France. Autre chose means anything else. Autre chose, people say it to you all the time, particularly in the service industry. Like, have you got any more questions or anything like that? In French, they say autre chose. This is tricky for a starter. Give yourself a mark out of 10. Six is what I wanted. Legends if you got into the extra challenge. So you should have, excusez-moi, le petit déjeuner et à quelle heure c'est inclus or inclus dans le prix. That is an ideal sentence. Well done if you got our extra challenge. Right guys, this is the language you're looking at today. You've got to know it inside out and you can see the importance of questions and question words, which is what our next activity, the prochaine activité is all about. Allez. Et voilà, alors mes petits, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire maintenant, c'est les questions que euh, on va se, te demander à l'hôtel et les réponses ici. Donc, dans la boîte bleue, vous avez les questions. Dans la boîte orange, vous avez les réponses. 
il faut trouver la paire entre les deux. Pour vous aider, j'ai utilisé les couleurs. Donc, jaune, 1, 2, 3, sont en accord avec les jaunes ici, D, E, F. Donc, lisez les questions et essayez de trouver la paire. Par exemple, avez-vous une chambre de libre? Have you got like a room available? Have you got a spare room? Alors, donc, cherchez ici et voilà. Oui, monsieur, c'est F. Oui, monsieur, nous avons des chambres de libre ce soir. Yes, sir, we have three rooms tonight. Donc, ici, on écrit F. Et on continue, mes petits. Qu'est-ce que c'est de toi? Trouver la paire. Puis, chercher dans le texte pour le vocabulaire. Ici, mes petits. I'm going to give you a massive, let's say five minutes on this. Ignore that free. I don't want to get free. Six or more in both activities, s'il vous plaît. Good luck, everyone. Put me on pause. Restart me en cinq minutes. On y va. Allez. Hello, my petit. If you listen to me now, your five minutes is over and you've got to go out questions and answers. Remember, six is your target today. Don't prenez les stylos. Oh, prenez les stylos rouges pour moi. Uh, you ten. Et on y va. Le premier. Avez-vous une chambre de libre? Veut dire, do you have a spare room? We spoke about this. It is F. Oui, monsieur. Nous avons des chambres de libre ce soir. This is a key phrase. Rooms of free means a free room or a spare room or a room available. Alors, numéro 2. Quelle sorte de chambre voulez-vous? This is from our post a note challenge. What type of bedroom do you want? What sort of room do you want? Alors, donc, les possibilités sont E et F. Je voudrais une chambre pour une personne ou je voudrais un lit simple. C'est D. Voilà. Je voudrais une chambre pour une personne avec une salle de main qui veut dire... I like a room for one person with a bathroom. Et le troisième, vous voulez un lit simple ou un grand lit? Ça veut dire, do you want a single bed, which they call a simple bed? Ou un grand lit, a big bed, which we call a double? Et c'est eux, je voudrais un lit simple, s'il vous plaît. Voilà. This vous voulez is you want. You can swap it around as well and say, voulez-vous ou vous voulez? It's the same thing. It's also a song by Abba, I think. Voulez-vous? She's thinking about it. I don't think that song is appropriate, so don't Google it. But there we go. Voulez-vous voulez is what you want. Alors, numéro 4. Pour combien de nuits, monsieur? Ici, this is your clue. For how many nights, sir? So remember in hotels you ask for nights. It's got to be A. Pour une nuit, s'il vous plaît. For one night, please. Alors, deux qui restent, mes petits. Vous voulez payer comment? Again, it's vous voulez ou voulez-vous? Do you want, how do you want to pay? Et ça, c'est B. Je voudrais utiliser ma carte bancaire. Et finalement, autre chose. They always ask you, autre chose. Literally, other thing. Anything else? Et la réponse, c'est C. Oui, le petit déjeuner. Et à quelle heure? What time's breakfast? Breakfasts in French hotels are always amazing. They've got all like the French stuff that you can just go and help yourself up to. But they just have some like all the fruit, particularly if you're in the south or like Provence where a lot of fruit grows. And then like in some really posh hotels, they've got like honey from a bee's nest, like a honey comb. And the honey drips down from the comb, comb and you help yourself. It's beautiful. They do cooked as well. Like there's some really nice breakfast. If you're over in a French hotel, see how much the breakfast is. It'll be expensive, but believe me, it'll be worth it for the best breakfast of your life. Alors donc, ça c'est les six choses ici. Let's go for our vocabulary. Do you have is avez-vous, have you. With a bathroom, avec une salle de bain. What we definitely need a bathroom. <laughs> a single bed is un lit simple. To pay is our verb payer. Bank card, they say a card bank, une carte bancaire. Breakfast is le petit déjeuner. And it's our extra challenge today. When you're doing the role play with me and you're speaking exam, it'll be a very simple question and answer. Some short answers is all you need. But you might want to drop a bit of flair in here. So let's alter and just change what we've got. I would like to pay with a card, uh, with cash. Je voudrais payer avec l'argent is money. L'argent liquide is cash, which is always like that, like liquid money. Um, remember, argent is our word for money. It's also the word for silver in French, because back in the day, silver would have made, uh, money would have been made out of silver. So they've kept the word silver. And you've got that in English, like Jesus was sold for 40 pieces of silver or whatever. And to help you remember it even more, little link to chemistry here. The chemical symbol for the element silver is A-G.
which is argent, it all links to the Greek or Latin or whatever. Et voilà, I think it's Greek in the period of time. Alors, et finalement, I would like a view of the sea, je voudrais une vue de la mer. Beautiful extra challenge here that you could add in to make your work sound more advanced. Alors, mes petits, I told you I wanted six. Count up how many you've got, give yourself a score out of how many you've done. Bonne fois ici. Here's our questions and answers. By the end of today's video lesson, you're going to have to be able to answer all six of these questions. That is your challenge for today. Let's see what we can do. Avec un peu de révision, let's look at asking questions, which is so important today. So we're going to do a bit of revision. There's three ways to ask a question without a question word. And then we need to make sure you know our question words. We're going to blitz and analyze this too. Hello, mi petit. Here we go then. The three ways to form a question are coming up. And then we're going to go through as many question words, every question word you need to know in French. This is so important. Remember, you're reading and listening papers. A lot of them are completely in French with the questions in French. You're writing 100%. The questions are in French, not a word of English. Same with the speaking. I won't say a word of English to you. It's, everything's in French. Understanding questions is crucial to your exam performance. So these two things are key questions. Let's have a look at them. Hello, mes petits. So forming questions is crucial. You have to answer them. You'll also have to ask them, not just in the speaking exam, but when you go to France, you're probably going to be asking more questions about things than you answer. So forming questions is, is easy, but it's different from English, which makes it a bit more complex. So there's three different ways to do it. You might want to just pick one method when you're in France and use that. Or you might want to use all three. Like one day, this might seem complex, but you'll just use all three without even thinking it. That's how good your language will be if you keep working. All right, so method one, the easiest way is intonation, which means raising your voice at the end of a sentence. We do this in English as well, particularly Americans. Have a look at this. So you want a crisp. That is a statement. That is something you want. But if I said to you, you want a crisp? Suddenly, it's a question. You want a crisp? You want a crisp? See what I've done? Just in changing the tone of my voice and my intonation, I've changed the meaning. And you can do exactly that in French. Tu veux un chip? Easy. So easy to do. Tu aimes le fut? Tu aimes le fut? See what I've done? Just make your voice rise. And that's the easiest way to form a question. Uh, and it's simple. The second way is definitely my favourite way because it's just so French. You've got this phrase which is est que, which literally means is this that. And this is how you ask a question in French. All you need to say is is this that at the front of any statement and it forms it into a question. So let me give you a fact, something that's certain. There we go. And then let me change it into a question. So Mr. Ennis est grand. Mr. Ennis is tall. Change it into a question. Est-ce que Mr. Ennis est grand? Is it that Mr. Ennis is tall? Oui. If you don't think I am, say something now. I can hear nothing. So, Mr. Ennis est grand is a fact. Just put est-ce que at the start of any sentence in French and it will change it into a question. So, tu aimes le foot? You like football. Est-ce que tu aimes le foot? Is it that you like football? Tu veux un chip? You want a crisp? Est-ce que tu veux un chip? Est-ce que tu aimes le français? Est-ce que le ciel est bleu? Easy. All you need to do is put est-ce que at the front. All right. Third and final way is the most complicated way because it's so different from English. Because English, we use the word do. Do you like? Do you love? Do you hate? Do you want? Do you think? In French, you don't do that. There's no need for the do. You just switch around the subject, the je, tu, il, elle, are you, he, she, and the verb. So instead of saying, do you want, you say, want you. Instead of saying, do you like, you say, like you, hate you, think you, eat you, drink you, um, hit you. Th this is all you need to do. You just need to swap our verb around. So, tu aimes le foot means you like football. Switch them over. Like you football. And this is how you say, do you like. Another example here, detest tu anaya. Exactement. I definitely heard a wee from somewhere there. So there we go. This is all we need to do. Switch these two over. And that is how to ask a question. This is your daily test homework for this week.
and on me petite. So that's how to ask a question, but you're going to need to know every question word as well. Et voici les, here they are, put me on pause. Can you put the English for all of these question words? Pause me now, you need to know them all. Et voilà, here's our answers. Did you get them all? If there's any you didn't know, you've got to know these question words here, 10. Write them down, put them on a post-it, learn them. So, all those questions we're going to use now, that's also going to be your daily test homework this week to make sure you're practicing. We've got some new vocabulary to learn. Year 10, you know what to do. S'il vous plaît, tu m'as, écoutez-moi et répétez après moi. Can you just explain to your mom at home what's happening in case she thinks you've lost your mind? Alors donc, répétez après moi, mes petits, on y va. Alors, at the top, mes petits, I've got all the different ways to ask a question. Let's do it. Donc, est-ce que vous avez? Est-ce que vous avez? Avez, avez, avez vu? Avez, avez, avez vu? Vous avez? Vous avez? Une chambre de lip. Vous avez une chambre de lip? Quelle sorte? Quelle sorte de chambre? Vu les vues. Vu les vues. Et ça. Quelle sorte de chambre? Vu les vues. Je voudrais une chambre port. Je voudrais une chambre port. Une chambre, une chambre, une chambre port. Une personne. Deux personnes. Une personne, deux personnes. Je voudrais une chambre avec, avec un grand lit, un lit simple, deux lits simples. Un grand lit, un lit simple, deux lits simples, deux lits simples. Avec une salle de bain, avec une salle de bain, avec, avec une douche. Avec avec une douche. Grow up. Avec avec une douche. Avec une vue de la mer. Une vue de la mer. This is a really useful word for when you're in France if you rent a car. La climatisation. La climatisation. La climatisation. Vivule. Vivule. Passé. Passé. Combien de nuits? Combien de nuits? Je voudrais rester. Je voudrais rester. Par. Par. Un nuit. Deux nuits. Une semaine. Une semaine. Now, in France, when they say a fortnight, they say 15 days. That's another thing for you to be aware about for the role play for the GCC, because these are the questions that will hit you. But also when you're in France, if you're booking for a fortnight, it'll be 15 days, which is une quinzaine. Une quinzaine. Une quinzaine. Une quinzaine. And then this is useful for when you're in the lift. Au rez-de-chaussée. Au rez-de-chaussée. Au premier étage. Au premier étage, au deuxième étage, au deuxième étage. Okay, this will be a question in the role play. You always have to ask a question. If you get like in the hotel, it will definitely say ask if it's got this. You need to know this. Es, es, es qu'il y a? Es, es, es qu'il y a? Es qu'il y a? Es qu'il y a? So we'd say, is there, but in French you'd literally say, is this, that, there, is, es, es, es qu'il y a, es, es, es qu'il y a, un parking, un parking, es, es, es qu'il y a, un parking souterrain, un parking souterrain. If you go to Canada, like all the nice hotels have got underground parking, everything's underground there, I don't know how, alors, es, es, es qu'il y a, une piscine, Une piscine, es, es, es qu'il y a, un, un restaurant, es, es, es qu'il y a, la climatisation, la climatisation, es, es, es qu'il y a, un code wifi, un code wifi, es, es, es qu'il y a, une bouilloire, une bouilloire. Le petit déjeuner est inclus, est inclus, 
le petit déjeuner est inclus. Alors, vous voulez payer? Comment? Comment? This is a really well used role play question. You need to know. Vous voulez payer? Comme, comme, comment? Vous voulez payer? Comme, comme, comment? Je voudrais payer. Je voudrais payer. Avec quatre bancaires. Avec quatre bancaires. Avec carte de crédit. Avec carte de crédit. Avec l'agent liquide. Avec l'agent liquide. Voilà, right guys, for con bancaire, they also call it a carte bleue, a blue card. Don't know why, it means like debit card. Et voilà, mes petits, this is all our vocab. Looking at the questions, let's put you to the test. Et vous savez ce qu'il faut faire pour les submivants, mes petits. Il faut dire anglais, français, anglais, français, rapidement. Let's say no, looking at our vocab, we've just drilled it. Put me on pause. Prepare yourself. Don't look at your sheet. Make sure you can match these up. And then when you're ready, restart the video. I'll make them disappear. You've got 36 seconds. Put me on pause now, mes petits. Allo mes petits, if you listen to me now, you're prepared, you know how this works, bon courage, en commençant, 3, 2, 1, allez First column is gone, so you're happy mes petits And second column down. Et c'est fini mes petits bon effort. Now this vocabulary you might need to use in your GCC roleplay. You'll definitely need to use it when you're going to France. We need to know it even better than this. Et voilà le deuxième tour. La même chose. Mettez Mr. Ennis sur pause. Donc Vérifier les réponses. And when you're ready, restart me. I'll count you down. And then you gotta go for it. Pause me now. Préparez-vous. On y va. Allo mes petits, if you hear me now, you're ready for this. You know how this works. Bon courage, hein. On commence en toi. Deux, un. Allez. Fast column down, so you're rapid, mes petits. Et deuxième colonne, so you're rapid, allez. Et cinq, quatre, toi, deux, un, c'est fini, mes petits. Alors, bon effort. If you can get to the end of this, this vocabulary is so important. This could be 10 out of 70 of your marks on your reading, on your speaking paper. Rewind the video, have another go, go back one minute and then see what you can do. If you got to 15, you're ready for our last activity. Alors mes enfants, maintenant c'est les questions et les réponses. They're not going to disappear. This is all about you and your quickest time is contre le montre, against the clock. On your portable, can you put a chronometre and see how quickly you can do this? Cette fois, ici, vous avez les questions et voilà les questions. Et ici, vous avez les réponses. Donc, il faut dire question. Hang on. Réponse. Question. Réponse. Question. Réponse. Aussi rapide que possible jeudi. Je vais donner un exemple. Let's see how quick I can do the first three. Oh, I've started my watch already. What does that start? Hey, toi, deux, un. Quelle sorte de chambre voulez-vous? Je vais dans une chambre avec deux livres. Si, simple. Vous voulez rester combien de nuits? J'ai l'intention de rester une semaine. Uh, vous voulez rester sur quel étage? Je vais rester au premier étage. Right, I did that in 9.95 seconds. I'll run that down. 9 seconds. So, double it. 18 seconds is the time to beat today, guys. You've got to read the question and the answer, prepare yourself that when you're ready, see how quickly you can go for our questions and answers and questions and answers. Put me on pause and see what you can do. Bon courage, on y va. Alors mes petits, maintenant c'est la même activité. 
Mais il y a de bonnes nouvelles, good news, et de mauvaises nouvelles, bad news. La bonne nouvelle, c'est dans le bon ordre. Donc, quelle sorte de chambre voulez-vous? This is the right order. Je voudrais. Vous voulez rester combien de nuits? J'ai l'intention de rester toi nuit. Ceci, c'est dans le bon ordre. Mais le problème, j'ai pris les mots clés. Il faut inventer les mots qui manquent. So this is more like what your role play will be like. These are minimum words you might have to stretch out. For example, numéro 1. Quelle sorte de chambre? Bah là, quelle sorte de chambre voulez-vous? Je voudrais une chambre avec un lit simple. Voilà, si vous avez fait 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mots, je ne sais pas si vous êtes aussi bien Vous voulez rester combien de nuits? J'ai l'intention de rester deux nuits, s'il vous plaît. Easy. See if you can complete them. So pause me, prepare, and then you, when you're ready, it's against the clock again. See how fast you can go under that little bit of pressure. Remember, you've got to say the questions and answers. You're ten. Pause me, see what you can do. Alors, mes petits, et donc, pour finir, I mean, I'd love to play lots of you all, but that isn't going to be possible. But we can still do a form of that avec un jeu de qui est Donc, ce qui va passer, je vais faire semblant que je suis quelqu'un ici. Donc, je suis soit Aurélie, à Karim, Manu, Blaise, etc. Donc, je vais demander une chambre à l'hôtel. Donc, il faut écouter la conversation et il faut ici écrire la personne qui parle. Je vais dire combien de personnes à euh, la sorte de lit que je veux, ce qu'il y a, une salle de bain, un restaurant et comment je vais payer. Je vais dire tout ça en français. Il faut écrire le nom du personne ici. Alors, bon courage Person numéro 1 dit Bonjour, je voudrais une chambre pour deux personnes avec un grand lit. Je veux une salle de bain et une douche. Et est-ce qu'il y a du parking près d'ici? Je voudrais payer avec carte bancaire. Alors, have a little look through, see if you can work out what I'm talking about. If not, just rewind and listen again. That was person one. Listen up for numéro deux. Qui dit, je voudrais une chambre pour deux personnes avec un grand lit. Je voudrais une vue de la mer. Est-ce qu'il y a un restaurant à l'hôtel? Je voudrais payer avec l'argent liquide. Oh, who was I? You can rewind and listen again and make sure you know. Cross off the two people have already done and have a little listen to numéro 3. Qui dit? Bonjour. Je voudrais une chambre pour une personne avec un lit simple. Je voudrais une vue de la mer. Est-ce qu'il y a de climatisation à l'hôtel? Je voudrais payer en argent liquide. Alright guys, who was I? That was person three. Two more to go. Et person quatre dit. Let's speed up a bit. Je voudrais une chambre pour deux personnes, mais avec deux lits simples, s'il vous plaît. Est-ce qu'il y a un parking à l'hôtel? Je veux payer avec mon carte de crédit. Alors, et finalement, mes petits, cross them off. You've just got a few left. Person numéro 5 dit Je voudrais une chambre pour deux personnes avec un grand lit et une salle de bain et j'ai l'intention de payer avec l'argent liquide. Here we go. Right, guys. You can pause, you can rewind, you can check your answers. Pause me now. I'm going to go through the answers. Et voilà, guys, this is who you should have had. I went Blaise, Julie, Manu, 
Lucy, and then I finished with Kahim. Give yourself a mark out of five for that today, guys. Bon F on me, pity. This is some core vocabulary. Let's talk about your homework. Et voilà. Right, guys, so your homework is all about the things we've talked about. Question words. We've talked about how important they are. This is how to ask your questions. We've also got our modal verbs again, so get your singing voices on. Some key vocabulary. All of this is daily tests. You testing yourself and learning you could just copy out the answer five times that would be an absolute waste of your time actually test yourself actually learn it you will need this for your exam and for your rest of your life to so spend that time learning it then the last page i've got some translations for you what i do is i wouldn't look at this and go for the translations and see what you can do on your own all of this is a must know you've got memorized as well learn this language year 10 you won't be able to catch up next year You've got to be working hard now. Alors, bon effort aujourd'hui. See you next time. Au revoir.